So remember that a short row is really just you knit and then you turn around and you knit back. All of these things that we indulge in, these wrap and turns and yarn overs and pinning and German short rows are all about hiding the hole or reducing the look of the hole. They're all visible a tiny bit, which you prefer depends on your own knitting method, I think. In this swatch, what I've done is I've started the Lizard Ridge blanket because you get to do lots and lots of short rows and you can see and compare them. So this is the wrap and turn method. I've got the three wraps there. They're very visible as I work them. And then as I work over them and hide them, that's what they look like in this context. So you can see them a little tiny bit. See, they're a lot less visible at worsted weight. You can see them a little tiny bit on the right side. On the wrong side, you've got slightly enlarged loops. Okay. This next one, this is the yarn over method. And you can see here, those are your yarn overs and they're snug next to the stitch. Okay. That's what they look like when you're working them or when you've worked over them, that's what they've looked like. So again, really not visible on the right side. Maybe there's a smidge of distortion in the stitches and you've got some loose strands at the back. There's always gonna be a smidge of effect on the right hand side. It's really about determining which you prefer, okay? This is the Japanese method also known as turn and pin, and you can tell because I've got those pins attached. And that's what it looks like when I'm working it. And the point here is that these are super easy to identify because they've got those pins there. And here, this is what it looks like when you've worked over them. So again, perhaps a smidge of distortion on the stitches, but quite tidy in general. And then this last method is the German method. And what you've got is you've got those funny doubled stitches. The stitches are distorted and twisted, if you will, with two strands. And then when I work over them, they look like that. So it's worth trying all four methods to see which you find easier to do and also which you prefer the look of.